In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter, post and print invoices for customers who need to have their VAT and tax rates changed on their invoice. So to begin, just the same as a standard entering an invoice, we're going Navigator, Adnums, Finance, Accounts Receivable, Invoice Processing, Enter and Revise Invoices. From here, we click the green Add button and we fill out the details as we have done before. So if you already know your customer number, you can enter it into this box here, or we can search for a customer by clicking the small magnifying glass, changing the search type to a C, and clicking the magnifying glass here. Scroll through the customers to find a customer that you want to add, or if you know the name of the customer, you can enter it into the search bar here, and click the magnifying glass. Once you've selected a customer, grip Click the green tick to confirm, enter the company number, the invoice date, the GL date, and the currency. In this box here, we enter the gross amount, so 500, enter any remark that we want there. So if we click on the line below, this will show the standard UK tax that will be entered there. So on the line below, I'll show you how to enter one with reduced VAT. So we enter the gross amount, remark as usual. Then we go into tax area and here we can enter in the code. There is a post process chart on the training wiki where you can check what tax area code your customer will come under. But for this one, we use the example of their UK customer who have reduced tax. So if we click the small magnifying glass and we scroll through to find UK REDO, so reduced rate. Select green tick. So if you click on the line below, JDE will automatically work out the taxable amount and the tax paid. So another way of doing it is if we enter the gross amount again. So now it pre-populates to the last tax area used. So if we change that back to standard and select. So we may have entered this in, click on the line below, and then we realize that actually need reduced. So you can click on that. We take both of the amounts out of here, and then we go in and change the tax code. You have to make sure you take out both the numbers that are already pre-populated into these two boxes, taxable amount and tax, as otherwise you'll get a red warning sign. So click on the line below, and there's both of our amounts here. So I'll delete the first row by selecting, click the delete button, click OK to confirm, they're both on reduced tax there. Then we just complete the invoice as you would with a standard. So green tick to confirm, enter the account number by searching, searching the business unit, and then selecting the GL code you want to select. Green tick to confirm, click on the row below, the remaining amount is zero, click the green tick to confirm, and then to post the batch we exit out of all of the screens, return to the navigator, adnums, finance, accounts receivable, invoice processing, review and post invoice batches, let's click on there. Search under our user ID, filling in this box here, 
the search button, select your invoice, right click, post by batch, green tick to confirm. To refresh, you click the search button and then your invoice should disappear as it's no longer unposted, it's been posted. So exit out of the screens. So to print or view the invoice that you've just created, we go into recent reports, click view job status, and then the first item in this list will be the invoice you've just created and posted. So to print, if you click this print icon here, green tick. To view the, the invoice as a PDF, we click view output here, downloads, we click on the download to open it. And then you can view and see what we've just created.